we stand on the rock of ages, we will not stumble. Romans chapter 9, verse 33. As it is written, Behold, I am laying in Zion a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense, and whoever believes in him will not be put to shame. Paul is citing a message from several passages from the scripture. Isaiah 8, 14, Isaiah 28, 16, Psalm 118, 22, and 1 Peter 2, 6. What is that message? That God is building Zion referring figuratively to God's spiritual kingdom, with His Son Jesus as the chief cornerstone, the solid rock and foundation of the church. Paul reminds us today that Jesus is the rock of salvation to those who choose to believe, but Jesus is also a rock of stumbling and a rock of offense. 1 Peter 2 verses 7 to 8, Now to you who believe, this stone is precious, but to those who do not believe, the stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone, and a stone that causes people to stumble, and a rock that makes them fall. They stumble because they disobey the message. As Christians, life's worries and sin may cause us to stumble and fall. But 1 John chapter 1, verse 9 says that if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just, and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. The believer will never be ashamed before God because Christ is his or her righteousness. When we give our life to Jesus, he becomes our intercessor. He secures our relationship and right standing as children of God. We will not always get things right. That's the sad reality living in this fallen world. James chapter 3 verse 2 reminds us we all stumble in many ways, but we must not allow past mistakes to paralyze us. When we stumble, fall forward, not backward. That is, we need to learn from our mistakes and keep going forward. Always remember that the Holy Spirit will always guide us and walk right beside us. Jesus is always watching our back and cheering us. He is our rock of ages a source of shelter and protection, stability and security to those whose lives are fully committed to God.